Jess from BlondePonyTail.com. I, I got a chance to try out the Ultimate Sandbag and I'm super stoked about it. There's so much you can do. I'm not even going to touch the surface on it. Um, but you can change the weights. Right now I've got two fillers in there so it's at a pretty heavy weight. So I'm going to show you just a few moves um, that you can do. All of them dynamic. Um, but I mean, the possibilities are really endless with this fitness tool. So, first one is going to be back squats. So I'm going to get it over here and then be in a good squat position. All the way down and back up. Same thing, you could move it to the front. Do your front squats. You'll notice there's like several different ways that you can grip this sand, the sandbag. Here, single, on the edge, and then for the row. And so we'll move right into row. So I'm going to use the grip here, neutral grip here. Make sure that I have a nice flat back, bend over row. Elbows are just going to go straight back. From here. Another move we can do is the clean and press. So I'm going to start with the weight on the ground and this is going to be a power movement so I'm going to clean it up and then press upward. Back down, clean and press. Okay, another movement is a rotational deadlift. So I'm going to go from the side and then rotate up. Side and rotate. And that's about as heavy as I can go. I probably should remove one of those if I'm doing that. Next movement, we can do bicep curls. So, with our grip here, it's going to curl that towards us. Another movement we can do are swings. So, what I'm going to do with this, kind of like a kettlebell. What I found works best is just using that single grip and then we're just going to position it between our legs, get down low, then extend high. And then I'll show you from the side what that looks like. So start low, swing it back, up high. Another movement, I mean, you can always use it for burpees as well. So what I was going to do is a half burpee to a row. So I'll be here, hands down, back up, and then row. And again, that's only a few of the movements. I can see myself using this for hill carries or for lunges. Just carry that on your shoulder, step back, switch sides, step back. Ooh. Because the weight is pretty mobile, you're really working on so many different muscles stabilizing yourself. So um, you can count on that core getting a really great workout. So really loving this tool and you're going to see it in workouts to come. So thanks for watching. Bye.